Good morning, collective. I'm just waking, but I got a download right away that I needed to give you right away. Robitussin is what I keep hearing. So somebody might be putting something in someone's medicine or there is something going on with medicine being added to something. There's something about Robitussin cough syrup that's being used in a way to harm someone or to somebody is offering somebody like a grape drink or um, Kool-Aid or something like that. There is something going on here with like a sweet drink that somebody is being offered or pushed across the table to somebody. Do not drink this. Um, there is an attempt to make somebody fall asleep and um, take advantage of them. I do feel like there are only two people here, but there are two other people unseen in this environment or behind the scenes. Like I've I feel like I'm in a room with these people, but there are two other people in this house or this building, this apartment, I am not aware are here. Maybe energetically I know, but I haven't physically seen them. They haven't introduced themselves. Nobody has told me other people are here. Two masculine energies are hiding, I just heard. But I'm sitting here at a table with another masculine energy. Table could be wooden for some reason that's being pointed out to me. Spirit is saying, do not trust them. Also, if you are going to meet up with somebody, have a conversation or talk somebody who you might be on the fritz with, or um, maybe you haven't talked to them in a long time, take somebody with you. Take two or three people with you. If you are a woman, I feel like you're taking women with you, but you probably need to take like your friend and her boyfriend or her husband or something like that. You need a man here with you. I don't trust any of this at all. Not what's like whatsoever. I don't trust any of it at all. Okay. Um, somebody here here has a gun and I feel like it gets pulled out on someone. It doesn't, it isn't fired, but it is pulled out on someone. And I feel like it's going to be pulled out on the masculine that's sitting here. Somebody is actually going to drink this purple juice or this stuff. Somebody's going to drink this. I feel like you get like immediate stomach cramps and maybe diarrhea right away. I mean, literally a matter of minutes. Somebody may even find themselves in the bathroom regurgitating this energy up. Might make someone foam at the mouth, white foam at the mouth or something like that. Don't, whatever this. Whoever I'm talking to, you already know not to trust this person. Whoever I'm talking to, it's almost like before you drink this, you kind of know it's a possibility. Maybe you say a silent prayer in your head. That might be what saves you from dying from this. But you almost know when you drink it not to drink it. And maybe you drink it to show this other person you're not afraid. Or maybe you drink it to make them think you're not cautious of them let them think you're cautious of them <laughs> like these people are trying to take advantage of you i heard trying to hurt you harm you man listen i if somebody i i feel like if somebody this is getting violent this is turning this is turning It is going to be important that you do not. If you're going somewhere to meet somebody, take your own drinks. Take your own, only drink what you drink to make sure nobody intercepts it. Make, make sure nobody else is fixing the drinks. Something about the color purple is big here. Um, but something else is important. It's like, see, Spirit always gives me, if you don't do it, this is what happens. If you do it, this is what happens. And in this, if you do it scenario,
I don't really okay if you if let's say you drink the the purple stuff or whatever and you foam at the mouth you pass out I feel like somebody comes out from the back and shoots you twice boom boom but I don't understand if I'm poisoned already why do you come out and shoot me but somebody could be shooting another person okay Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm looking at a movie. <laughs> I'm like, is this a movie scene? Because this person just got up off the floor after these two people ran away. And dusted themselves off almost like there were blanks in the gun or something. Maybe these people didn't know there were blanks in the gun. I could be on a movie set, though. I mean, this could be a movie set I'm on. Or maybe I'm 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 watching a movie. Cause this doesn't make sense the way I'm seeing this. This doesn't make sense. But it'll play out in, in your reality however it is supposed to. But this could be a movie I'm in. Cause I feel like something about this is fake or not real now. This person who passes out on the ground, maybe I just heard faking to create a trap. huh okay different real different remember i said at first there's only you and this other person in the room Something happens here where something happens here where, excuse me, two people. I almost feel like the. Okay. All of this is a setup. Y'all, this is like some, this is, this is interesting. This is like some 007 backwards wildness happening here. All right, peep this. It seems like there is a plan here to poison and kill someone, to harm someone, poison and harm someone, right? There's one person here first, but there are two people hiding in the back. Then for some reason, that changes. It seems like there are two, two men here now. This one person sitting at the table. I don't see other people with this one person, but then I, I do see other energies kind of around. I don't really understand, but somebody, the person who is supposed to be the victim here is actually in on this poisoning and um, killing. And some sort of way, the, the person who is supposed to be the victim creates a scenario and puts these people in it to get them trapped or to get them caught up. This is crazy. I gotta, I gotta sit up for this. <laughs> like, let me. Okay, y'all. Let me tell you how I'm seeing this. This is interesting, cause it's almost like the person who is being set up. Like before this setup happens, maybe they were able to do something to intercept this poison and also to intercept these weapons if this is if this is not happening where somebody does a like a switcheroo on somebody then i'm in a movie because this is far out
I'm just going to ask Vera how to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here's what's happening. There are three people involved in a scheme to harm one person. One of the three people in this scheme lets that victim person, that's that potential victim, know what is going to happen. They tell them. The victim, the, the potential victim, and this one person. Remember, I only see, two, remember at first I saw one person with this person. But then I see two people hiding behind the scenes. The shooting only happens by the two people behind the scenes. I don't see that other, that third person anymore. But what Spirit is revealing to me now in this scene, I just heard me. So I'm definitely talking to the person or this is about me. But I'm having a conversation back of the body goosebumps. This is being supported by the universe. I also have um, left side of the body goosebumps. So this is something that in some sort of way is taking place in the past, has taken place in the past for someone or um, is about the past, people from the past. Okay, <clears throat> here's T. All of this is a setup. So these these three people are in cahoots, but one of the three people break away from the other two and they tell the victim what's going to happen. They work with the victim to ensure that maybe, maybe there are blanks in these people's guns. Maybe they work with the victim to ensure that whatever the poison is, it looks like something, it really isn't. Because when... When this person drinks this poison, they fall on the floor. They're like foaming at the mouth. These men come in, they shoot this person, right? And then they run. I feel like I'm in a hotel because I feel like they run out of a hotel room. When they run out of a hotel room, it's like they run around a corner and they run into the police. This is a setup to catch some people like in the act of doing something. It works. Also, this third person here may have been motivated to tell the victim what's going to happen because of the police. The police could have gotten to one of these people and been like, you're going to help this person out. You're going to tell them everything. That's So maybe the police, the victim, and this one person were working in cahoots to catch these other people. Now, all three of them are going to jail, but one of them is going to do a lot less time than the other two. And this is like something, um, this is like something connected to other things as well. Like, cause I hear somebody saying, I've been trying to catch you motherfuckers for the longest. So some criminals are gonna get caught. And here's, here's the deal. When these people get caught, it, it's it's kind of like no sweat off their back. They really don't care. Maybe they're career criminals because they just feel like, ah, I got caught again. What's this going to be like three years? And somebody's telling them like, no, you're going to get 30 years for this. 30 years, man, you know, 30. Like they're not, they don't really, they're not really taking it serious. They understand the justice system going in and out of jail. They don't, they don't care. Okay. Your life will be affected by this. I feel like you might have to do some counseling. I think that you might seek therapy. I mean, overall, big picture, good life for you. But whatever this is that has been taking place, it is going to... I keep hearing deeply impact you. Hmm, but Spirit said for the better, for the good. And they just said, you will know. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm Auntie Thick. I love you.